Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a pretty awesome deck here. This is going to be a new version of Quagnag. This is going to be Quagnag with the Espeon Deoxys. Now, this is very similar to Waylord Carp in a way, where we're going to be trying to basically get a bunch of energies in play at some point, and then come in with a cleanup attack with Cross Division getting 6 energy onto Espeon Deoxys. And we are going to put up to 20 damage on the board. And this is relevant because we can use Sauna Blast to get damage on the board. We even have stuff like Venom Shot even. There's a lot this deck can do. And this might be the new best Quagnag variant. A lot of people, you know, like to play, you know, the Quagnag Keldeo build. But this Quagnag Espeon Deoxys build might be the new best way to play the deck in literally the first game. I use Espeon Deoxys. It's pretty sick. So before we get in the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Carcarva TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PTCGO pack codes, if you're trying to get... Hidden Fates code still, or Team Up codes, or maybe you're trying to get Unbroken Bonds code now that Dedenne GX's value has gone up. Head over there, they also have Pokemon GX codes for like Mewtwo, Mew Tag Team GX. Uh, you can get like Lucario Melmetal GX codes. Um, and they also have Sleep codes like Elite Trainer Box codes and all that stuff. They got all the PCGO code stuff you are looking for over at Carcarvin TCG. If you get something from there, make sure to use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Supports the channel. Helps yourself out and helps Car Cavern out. So yeah, shout out to Car Cavern TCG, the sponsor on the channel. Here we go with the list. So this list is kind of combined from a few different versions I've seen of Quagnag, um, Nagendel Espeon Deoxys on Limitless TCG. These are actually I think from Cologne. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on in here. One list I saw was using uh, fighting types, like it played the Fighting Wooper, it played an Onyx, and it also played a Fighting Quagsire instead of the three Quags. Um, one list also then played this Nagana Double Ultra Conversion, and the other list had, like, Shrine. So I've actually kind of just remixed the list a little bit to my own liking, and this list actually worked out pretty well, I would say, in this video. This is the list that I like the most, that I came up with, tweaking things and moving things about. So again, the idea is, you know, Quagsire, move the energy to your attackers. Uh, we have stuff like Onyx in here. You can deal with Pika and Dark Box. It, we, now we have the Volk. Now this thing is the most important card in this deck aside from the Espeon Deoxys. Because if you get at least two to three Sauna Blasts off, you pretty much just set the win up for Cross Division very easily. So that is why Volcanion's in here. We also do have two Keldeos. Of course, Keldeo GX is kind of Quagnag's main partner right now. And we are still going to be playing two of them. It's really hard for decks to deal with thanks to Pure Heart, making it immune to GX and EXs. And we have Sonic Edge. And, uh, of course, we have a 4 4 Nagana line. We're actually going really thick on the Nagas here. And we have that Naganadel GX2 with Ultra Conversion and Venom Shot. We can use Venom Shot a lot of the time, too. If we have the proper setup, Venom Shot actually will work. And this is pretty good, doing 107 damage to one of your point Pokemon. And one of the things you can do with Venom Shot is, of course, soften something up to maybe get knocked out by Cross Division. And we have two Psych Energies in the deck, so we can actually attack with Venom Shot a lot of the time. I've actually kept the two Funny Whoopers for no real reason other than maybe Mud Bomb for 60 on a Pika Rom. And then of course we got our two Shiny Whoopers, mainly because I don't have four Shiny Whoopers yet. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much it. We got Dedenne in the deck, we got Ditto. Uh, one of the lists that I saw on Col on the Cologne on Limitless I actually did play a Corsola here from Dragon Majesty with Bubble Shot, doing 20 damage, time and water energy in this Pokemon to one of your opponent's pen po ben po bench Pokemon. I cannot talk today, I'm talking too fast. But if you have like three energy on this thing, this thing does a snipe one for 60 to a bench Pokemon. It's actually kind of cool. This Corsola might be the new big brain card for Quagnex Extra. But I've cut it because I'm going to keep it simple and straightforward. Uh, we're going into the items now. We got three Acro Bikes. Both lists played a heavy kind of Acro Bike. Uh, we got four Treasures, four Pokecoms, of course. I, I've actually thrown in a Reset Stamp. None of the lists I didn't think played this card. I threw it in because Reset Stamp is a really good card in my opinion. And you should at least play one of each deck. Now, I've actually thrown in two Ultra Space and two Viridian. Well, the other list played three Viridian, but I've actually thrown in two Ultra Space to the list because I feel like Ultra Space is really important to find your Poipoles. really does help you set up. The more Nagandals you get to play, the better because you start to build up energy for cross division. So that's why I've gone with two Ultra Space for the setup. But Viridian is still important because it gets rid of an energy and gets the energy in your hand, which synergizes really well with Nagandal. And going to the supporters, for Lily, for Cynthia, and uh, one list was playing Judge in the list. I've kept the Judge in, because why not? And I've also kept in the Bill's analysis that a list played. The Bill uh, can be really good finding you Ultra Space, Acrobike, Viridian, Pokecom maybe if you're trying to get a Quagsire. So yeah, Bill could be really clutch. I actually wouldn't even mind cutting the Judge and running the double Bill. But again, Judge can help you in matchups where it's good. There's nine Water Energy in the deck and two Psychic Energies. For your Espeon Deoxys and Naganadel GX. But yeah, that's it for the uh, Quagnag Espeon Deoxys list. And this might be the new best Quagnag list. And it, literally in the first game I get, I get to use Cross Division. I'm not going to spoil if I win or lose. It was a really cool match. Um, but yeah, I'll just say I actually got the Espeon Deoxys in the first game. So yeah, let's uh, show off the deck here. 
Alright guys, let's go do some games now with some Quagnag Deoxys. See what we run into. Um, I doubt I'll play against this, but I actually wouldn't mind maybe seeing a, uh, a Lost March deck. Or just like a Spirit Tomb deck. Any deck where I could just drop the Espeon Deoxys and just win the game with Cross Vision. That'd be pretty dope. Um, but no, it looks like we're playing against Malamar here. Which is interesting. I don't think Malamar is that bad of a matchup, to be honest with you. I don't know. It might be tough. It might not be. Uh, we actually are going to get a pretty good hand. We got four starting Pokemon here. We'll start with Wooper, I think. And we'll probably want to attack with Volcanium Prism Star. And then maybe try to just set up like an, a cross division. I think that's going to be my play. My best uh, thing to do here is set up a cross division play. Okay, we drew water. I'm going to hold on to that because I want to be able to maybe Viridian that away. Yeah, and there's Volk. Nice. I guess I could have Jet Geyser too. But it is important, I think, to get more waters out of the deck here. Hmm. Put that here and we'll pass. And next turn, we can Pokecom for either Naganadel or Quagsire. Don't know if I want to reveal the Espeon Deoxys, though, right away, because it is pretty good to maybe save, but I don't know. I think we're going to have to reveal the Espeon Deoxys, because, like, it's like, if I show them I have it, they might have a plan of attack. I, I don't know. But, yeah, the Espeon Deoxys, I think it'll be decent here in the late game to win the game. We don't want to use it throughout most of the match, because it is going to be weak to Psychic. We have no way to stop it from being weak to Psychic, right? So... Unless this guy randomly plays Jirachi. Uh, we're going to be saving this guy for another for a rainy day. We're going to use Cross Division and the late game and get 20 damage on the board with maybe the help of Sauna Blast. We could maybe sweep the entire board. Looks like he's going with Mimikyu. He does power play on me. That's a little annoying because I actually did want to have my Viridian Stand play. Let's see if he gets any more Incaves down. Mm, he actually has to bench the Tina. He actually could have played the Viridian to get rid of the Tina there if he kept it in play, but he didn't. Uh, another Poipul. We can actually put the Poipul back. We don't really need another Naganadel right now. We'll get Naganadel. I could have maybe gone Quagsire. Quagsire knocking out this guy wouldn't, I guess, be terrible either. Maybe I should have done that. Nah, yeah, whatever. We, we could probably find Quagsire Energy. That's all we need to do is find Quag Energy here. What is Cynthia? Let's see what this gives us. Yep, there we go. Oh, wait, no, we didn't get the energy, though. Hmm. Well, I mean, technically I did. Well, technically. I guess we'll have to do to Dene. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to Dene, assuming it's in the deck. Yeah, it is. Right, to Dene is the only way we can hit an energy here. Assuming we do find one. We are going to lose our Judge, and Judging Malamar is actually kind of effective, I find, because Malamar tends to brick sometimes. And there we go, we do find an energy. And we got a third Naganadel. Don't know if I want to play that right now, though. I think we're just going to go all in. The nice thing here is, too, because he only has one Inkay in play, we're 100% not getting KO'd next turn, most likely. Unless he plays, like... I don't know, actually, yeah. Quagsire should survive here. We might as well play the Ultra Space, because why not? Thin the deck out by one card. And uh, we'll go for a Hydro Pump here. Not going to Mimikyu. Mimikyu, not really a huge issue, but you never know. It could have been an issue. Take our Lily. I guess, like, it is good that he can't, like, spread 20. If he, like, Mimikyu copied Sauna Blast at some point. So we'll see. We're definitely not getting KO'd here. So Quagsire has another turn in it. And we can try to retreat into Volk next turn, which is what I want to do. So I want to go for Sauna Blast. The more damage, oh, well, I'm hoping he fills his bench up first before we do Sauna Blast. So I don't want to Sauna Blast when there's only three Pokemon to play. Because my main point of doing Sauna Blast is so that we can get ready for a cross division here on these nice low HP Malamars and Jirachis. That's going to be the goal. And it looks like he's got another Inkay down. Oh, he's playing Gengar Mimikyu. Bruh. Rip, dude. Are you kidding me? Here I am saying I'm not going to get knocked out. <sighs> That's annoying. That's very annoying. Not the end of the world, though. We're 
We're at the Vault Ditto in the Quag. We don't have a way to deal with this thing. I think I'm still going to go with uh, Sauna Blast, though, regardless. And there's a Spell Tag, my favorite card on the planet to see. I'm starting to wish maybe we could play Lysander Lab in this deck, too, instead of Ultra Space. Because, you know, these Spell Tags are definitely a headache and a half. Alrighty, then. That's fine. We can always negate all the energy back. Let's see what we draw here. Keldeo. Not really needed right now. I think we'll just bench Poipul. Well, Cynthia, we just need to find Quagsire and a water energy here to attack. Which we didn't get. Not yet, anyways. Oh, we have one Quagsire left right now. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No whammy. Ah, give me the whammy. <sighs> that's annoying. He can't knock me out, though, which is good. So, I mean, that's a good sign, I guess. Can't one-shot me here. Get that secret rare energy on. Yeah, he can't one-shot me. We only have one thing in our hand, so that's good. He could horror house me though. I mean, if he does that, that would suck quite a bit. This thing really is annoying. It's crippling my entire strategy here. Oh, he's actually gonna switch into Jirachi. Like this game is winnable. It's just gonna be down to whether or not we can, um, like, get damage on the board. And we can. We need to get there, but we're not getting there quite yet because, yeah, not good. <laughs> Maybe Horror House is me and I don't draw into a lot of trainers. That would be pretty nice. I doubt that is what is going to happen, though. We're probably going to get Horror House here. Like, I don't think he has any other GX move. I guess he has, like, Cross Division still. He could attack me with Shadow Impact, which is another good thing. Shadow Impact putting damage on something lowers their HP. I'd rather him attack me with Giratinas than with Gengar, because with Giratina, at the very least, he has to damage stuff, which really does help out my Espan Deoxys Cross Division strategy. So this Gengar is super annoying, not gonna lie. This thing is very annoying. Yeah, he's gonna Horror House me. Please don't draw into a bunch of items. Okay, good. That's really good. Not too bad. All right, we'll just pass. We'll see what my opponent's able to do here. Hopefully he benches one more thing. My game plan, I guess, would be like, knock this out, take three prize on Jirachi, Malamar, Malamar. Spell tag, though, not something I like seeing that could be annoying. Having the Dedenne on my bench might be an issue, too. Nice, he's gonna bench another low HP Pokemon. I really wish maybe we played Lysander Labs, though, just so we don't have to deal with these spell tags, dude. I'm starting to wish we sh should play one Lysander Labs. Poltergeist, unfortunately for my opponent, will not knock me out because Volcanion's a beast. And he did feed me a Pokecon with that Horror House. This will give me my boy Quagsire. It is our last one, though, which is terrible. So, yeah. We need to start taking prizes ASAP. I guess we do have that other Naganadel GX at some point. Well, Cynthia... Actually, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have just held the hand, to be honest with you. Alright, we'll do this. Take you. And I guess we can treasure... We don't need the bill anymore. Yeah, we just do this. Thin out the deck this way. And now he's only doing 50 damage with the... Uh, with this. So we'll live with 10 HP. Assuming he doesn't go with Giratina. Which he might end up doing. We'll see gonna keep the energy spread out and again i gotta hope he isn't playing any copies of um it's not, i'm not even gonna bother playing that ultra space the reason is because i don't want to draw any items we'll just keep slamming him with volcanian again all that damage on the board is really relevant we do have a lot of energy in play too s deoxys might start being good we can't use it right now because it gets one shot by giratina and gengar pretty easily well mainly giratina because gengar not because i don't have any items in my hand anymore 
All right, let's see what happens here. He's gonna retreat into Giratina, that's fine. Might have to start attacking with maybe Naganado? I wish we had another attacker right now. Kinda sucks I had to lose Onyx. Onyx would have been decent. See where he puts his 40 damage though. Where's he gonna put it? On the Jirachi. Okay. Do I have game? 140. 10. 40. I might have game. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up the calculator here. 140. Plus 10. 150. Plus 40 on that Inke? I have game. Oh my... Okay, we win. Well, I think I have game anyways. I should have enough energy in play. But yeah, I think I win here. Okay, let's do charging up first, just to make sure. We need to get six energy on this Deoxys. If not, I might just go spit poison. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's game. Nice! We won! We actually won. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's game. Cool. Yeah, this is how the Espeon Deoxys works, guys. We are just going to come in here and we're going to clean up my opponent's board. So we'll knock out the Jirachi, we'll knock out the Inkay, we'll knock out the Gengar Mimikyu. Here we go. Knock you out. Knock you out. And the rest of the damage goes on this guy. Boom! Look at that. Not bad. Not a bad thing, guys. That is how Espeon Deoxys has become one of the best cards in the format right now. That's what I'm talking about. I'll see you guys in another match. Alright, guys. We're going to get another game here with the deck. I mean, we pulled off what we were trying to do in the first game. So, I mean, at this point, where do we go from here? Just win another game with the deck, I guess? Like, that's pretty much about it. So, this video might end up being a little shorter than, than usual. We're up against a dark deck. Looks like good... Uh, actually, I have no idea. I have no idea what we're up against. Um, maybe we can try to use the Naganadal GX. That'd be kind of cool. Alrighty then. We are winning the coin flip. That's good. See how good our start's looking here. Okay, it's decent. We have a turn one Lily, and we got a net two energy to discard for treasure. Not bad. I mean, a tenth energy actually wouldn't be bad either. Like, that is 12 energies in the deck. But a tenth water, I guess, wouldn't hurt either. Just the more waters you have in your hand, the better. So, I don't know. I guess you could also run a third Viridian instead of two Ultra Space. There's a whoop. So the Onyx is really good here. Kind of wish I played the Fighting Quagsire. I mean, we're not going to one-shot him with Onyx, obviously, but, like, the Onyx is still good. We can hit him and then maybe knock him out with Mud Bomb if we ever have to, just for the memes. Yeah, we'll attach. Go Lily. Play down another whooper. Drop you, and we'll pass. Only one energy. It doesn't look likely we're actually going to pull off a Land Crush here. But it doesn't look like my opponent's going to get much either. I don't know what kind of dark deck they're playing. They have no Naganadel on the deck. Unless they're relying on Sharpedo instead of Naganadel to set up. I guess that's what they're doing. I don't know. Uh, they do have a Dark City. Dark City will help them. And a Misty's Favor. I don't know what type of, type of deck I'm playing against here. But if I get to use my Fighting Boys, then I'll be pretty happy, I guess. Oh... They're playing a Morgan deck. Okay. We're going to reset stamp them here, I think. Or draw judge. No. Okay. We'll Pokecom. Put back the Espeon Deoxys. Let's get Quagsire. Yeah, I don't want to get knocked out. So, that'd be nice if we didn't. We'll stamp their hand away. Uh, we'll play down the Keldeo because we might win with Keldeo too, in all honesty. <laughs> and what are we looking at here? Oof. 
We whiffed an energy to attack. Oh, no. We whiffed the attack. That is a bra moment and a half. Well, then. Oh, that sucks. We have a four. We can't even retreat. Okay, well. That sucks. Whiffing the energy to attack is not very ideal. But let's see if my opponent gets the hat, ladies. He does not. That gives me one more turn. Okay, that's good. Never mind. Does good. Yeah, that reset stamp was a big brain play, for sure. I mean, they might be playing Power Plant, though, too, so I guess we gotta watch out for that. There's a Cherish Ball getting nothing. This Dark Box Hat Lady deck is interesting, not gonna lie, though. There's an energy. Nice. You can actually treasure that away to thin the deck out. And, uh, what is Lily? 4-4. Four, four. Honestly, no rush. We're not in any rush right now. And there's definitely not, well, I mean, they could have a Mor they could have the Morgan that they draw into the High Lady piece they need. But I doubt that's going to happen, obviously. So I think we're safe just to land crush. We'll hold on to the Psychic Energy for now. We don't need to play it. We'll just hit him for 240. They have 40 HP left, so that's going to open up the door. Maybe do a Cross Division Dombal Sauna Blast play if we ever get that option available to us. Yep, my pony concedes. See, these fighting type Pokemon are really good. There are Pokemon out there that are weak to fighting, and that is an example of a Pokemon being weak to fighting. Okay, we'll do another game with the deck, because why not? That first game was just so good. We don't really need to do much else with the deck, but plow through some games. And ooh, another deck weak to fighting. Don't mind if I do. It's going to be one of those situations, once again, where we get to use Onix and my boy Wooper, maybe. Wooper for 60. The biggest brain play ever. And I Wooper for 60 is not even bad. Putting Picarom to 180 HP is pretty relevant. Alright, let's see. Ooh, we do win the coin flip. Cool. Alright, we'll see how we start here. Our starts have been pretty good too. Yeah, see, we're getting a lot. Ditto and Wooper. I guess we'll start with Wooper, just in case. You never know, Ditto might get knocked out. You never know. 40 HP is a lot safer, or a lot less safer than 70 HP. Once again, though, we do have a turn one Lilius. So hopefully, we can draw into a energy discarding card here. Ooh, they're playing... Oh, I know what they're playing. They're playing this Raichu Pachirisu deck that I've seen. Which is fine. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is literally going to be the perfect matchup because cross division. Um, I'm actually going to take this and that might seem weird, like very, very weird, but understand me here. I have an, I have a strategy to win. Don't tell me I prize your spend. Okay, good. Oh, we prize Volk though. No. Never mind. I was going to say our strategy is going to be Sauna Blast into a cross division. But at the moment, we're not going to get there. All right, let's go Lily. Bench you. No energy discarding cards again. I guess we were retreating to a uh, and Maybe just knock him out again until next turn. I'll just do that. Yeah, we're gonna just going to cross division. But, man, not having Volk is going to make this really hard. Because if we get, like, maybe two Sauna Blasts in play... And then we just cross division. And that's how we're going to try to win. But we're not going to be able to get there because, unfortunately, our hand is not very good. Or Volk is prized. Our alternate plan, however, is going to be using Venom Shot and Aganadel to maybe knock out any threats my opponent puts down. Like, I think this deck uses Voltorb and Electrode to try and move stuff too. So there's a lot of that that'll happen. And we're going to try to win by just going with the... Um, the big brain play known as Venom Shot. So we're going to try to set up a Venom Shot type of play. That's why I did not get rid of the Neganet LGX. Because Venom Shot I think is going to be pretty important here. We have the option of Venom Shot. And we also have the option to go with Cross Division. So we have a few options here. This really shouldn't be a bad game at all. We'll see what they get going here though. Yeah, Pikachu. So yeah, we'll just knock out either the Pikachu 
potentially the Voltorb because they have to evolve the Voltorb. So they have to play down early. So that can be something we can knock out. They don't have Mew in the deck. So as long as we just knock out Voltorb, we should be good. And then obviously Cross Division is going to be pretty important to winning the game too. So yeah, our game plan is pretty simple and straightforward. I guess if we prize the other Psych Energy, I guess that would suck. But we are going to be taking prizes this game anyway, so it's not a big deal. So, yeah, we're going to just knock out these Pikachus, and yeah, that's about it. It just sucks we didn't get any more energy in the discard pile, but retreating the Wooper, I guess, was a big brain play. Because that does allow me to get an energy going. If we can draw a Treasure here, though, that would be really good. Treasure would be the best top deck I think we could draw right now. I guess we get to Dene. But Dedenne is not something I want to bench because if he ever does get the attack off, he could knock out Dedenne. Oh my gosh, we actually do the treasure. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Actually, it's, I guess it wasn't like the biggest thing ever, but you get my point. Well, Cynthia... <laughs> nice hand. Just full of energies. I guess we could attack with Mud Bomb too. And we'll pass. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was hoping maybe get a Poiple there, but whatever. I guess we can Mud Bomb these Pikachus. That's fine. We can start doing Venom Shot. Venom Shot, as long as we have two Naganos in play, we win. So we just Venom Shot every turn. And again, as long as there's no room for Electrode, that's good. We just have to consistently keep Venom shotting here. And we should be Gucci. And if he ever benches a Ditto or Voltorb, they'll get sniped. And since we're only taking one prize a turn, too, that's really good. But again, we have Cross Division, which is also going to be big. As long as I didn't prize my other Psych Energy and I somehow don't find it. I think the Venom Shot play might be the best action here, to be honest. Instead of maybe going Volcanion. Okay, let's see. They're going to keep thinning. Do they have anything else? Or are they just going to go with another Nuzzle Gathering? Okay, they are going to Volkner. So yeah, as long as their bench is and they can't bench a Voltorb, we're good. But we'll knock out one of these Pikachus here, and there's a Smuggly Generator. It's a good thing these things don't damage me. Like, I guess he could actually maybe hit a Nuzzle Head at some point. That would be pretty bad, actually, because we don't actually... I guess we have... Skateboard? Is it in the deck? I, I think I put it in here. I can't remember, though. I cannot remember if I put a Skateboard in the deck. Okay, let's see who we draw. Pokecom. Okay, whatever. So we need to get a Poiple here if we're going to follow up with another Venom Shot. Or I guess we don't need a Poiple. Yeah, never mind. We don't need a Poiple as long as we have energy in our hand. But Poiple would be ideal. There we go. Get an Acrobike. We'll take the Judge, I think. Judge could be pretty good, I think, for sure. I'll treasure away the Keldeo, because Keldeo is absolutely useless here. We'll just get another Poipo out of the deck. I'm not going to bench it, though. We are going to Venom Shot. Knock out that Pikachu. And we're just going to control his board and make it so he can't bench a Voltorb. Yeah, he, he won't have enough room for what he's trying to do. He would, like, he's going to need, he needs at least two Pikachus in play or two Voltorbs, one Pikachu, and play to really, really put pressure on me, but since he can't do that, there's no way. We should, we can just literally Venom Shot every single turn. Unless he hits heads on Nuzzle. That's the only thing that could get in our way, is a Nuzzle heads. But I might have a Skateboard in the deck. And that's where uh, Espeon Deoxys is going to come in handy. We could even do that right now and knock out Pikachu and knock out the Ditto. But, Cross Division for 200 damage is really good. Yeah, but I think, yeah, having the judge here, I think, is really nice. Again, being able to judge them, I think, will be good. Um, especially if they're hoard if they're hoarding their hand, we can just make it really low. 
Reset Stamp's going to be pointless because he's not going to be taking any prizes anytime soon. One thing to note, though, is if Pikachu does get a lot of energy on it, it could get hairy. That's why I kind of want to go for that Nuzzly Gathering. Uh, or not, what am I saying? That's why I maybe want to go for a Spandioxus here, but for now, I think we're fine. Chill. A lot of it might come down to, though, if he gets heads, but we can always save the Judge. Walter Conversion? Another Naganadon. Okay. What is Washout? Hatch here. And Venom Shot. Knock out that Ditto. Prevent him from playing Electrode. Alright, what are we getting off the prizes? Quag. Not bad. I still think Wooper would be good, but evolving everything would make it harder, I guess, for him to sweep the board. But I don't think he can win. As long as, like, the only way he could win is if he gets heads on Nuzzle, and I don't have a skateboard. And I can't remember if I put a skateboard. Like, I'm pretty sure I put a skateboard in the deck, but now my brain has malfunctioned, and I cannot remember. I guess I should Ultra Space and just check, lol. I need to make sure I have the other Psychic. And there's that Voltorb. There we go. He is going to reveal that, and then we will going to knock that out with Venom Shot. Like, he'd have to have, like, four energy switches and, like, some crazy combo to, like, do a lot. But even then, as long as we just keep knocking out Voltorb, we're good. Kind of wish maybe we had a couple switches, though. On the off chance, he does hit heads on Nuzzle. That'd be very toxic. I mean, I could just knock out the Pikachu, too, because this thing is... Yeah, I might actually just knock out the Pikachu, to be honest with you. Depending on if he just goes here. So there's that Raichu with Electro Rain. So, yeah. You put a bunch of energy in play, and then you electrode it all over the Raichu. But it is a good thing he doesn't have Mew. If you have Mew, I guess we saw Cross Vision, but Mew would be pretty bad. So it's a good thing he doesn't have that. I guarantee he's going to try to nuzzle me here. He's going to try and paralyze me, I bet. If he does that, we'll still go Venom Shot. Let's see, what's going on? Yeah, I think we'll evolve the Wooper. We have another funny Wooper. Again, Cross Division would be good too to knock out the Alolan Raichu and the Voltorb. We might have to judge him. Let's see if they go for Nuzzle. If they hit heads, though, on the Paralysis, I'm done. Oh my gosh, they're doing it. And they don't hit heads. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're going to check the deck. Tell me I have a skateboard. Oh, I don't. I don't play it, or it's prized. This thing also tries to paralyze me, too, right? Yeah, okay, really? Okay. Okay. How much energy do I have in play? Not enough. One, two, three, four, five. Five energy in play. So we don't quite have it. All right, let's just Cynthia. More waters. All right, I'll take it. Oh, he concedes. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we're good. We got to show off the again LGX, which is pretty lit. I probably would have just knocked out the Raichu there. It would have slowed him down by quite a few turns because then he would have to replay down the Pikachu. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's piece of video, guys. I think with the Quag, Nag, Espeon, Deoxys deck, we got to use the Espeon, Deoxys. We got to use the Venom Shotting boy himself, too, Nagant LGX. I really, this card saved me in that game. Well, I guess I still went, would have went for Cross Vision, but this card saved me. Did I have the escape board? I did not have the escape board. All right, I should probably put that in here. I'm starting to consider removing the judge from the deck, but I don't know. I still think it's kind of good. But anyways, that'll wrap up today's piece of video, guys, with the Espeon, Deoxys, Quag, Nag deck. Is it the new best Quag, Nag deck? I don't know, man. Seems like it might be. Anyway, that'll wrap the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to help the road to reaching 6,000 subscribers slash 5,700 subscribers. And as always, make sure to check out our sponsor, Kirk Evan TCG. Use my discount code, CodeLDF, for 5 cents to come your order. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.